Okay, so I wanted to do a video on um, NVM. And if you haven't used NVM, it's basically a node version manager so that um, you're basically running a version that's specified within the project. And I cannot tell you how important this is. There's instances where your package.log file may have different node versions depending on your globally installed node version. So if you install node and you get like 14.xxx um, and then someone else in your team is using 16.10.0, um, it can get really, really messy. So you can run into bugs, you can run into different versions uh, that are getting installed within node modules. So what you want to do is install a version manager. So this one, I think, may be Mac specific. Um, there's definitely instances where you can use um, Windows because I know people at work use Windows as well. Now, it doesn't have to be NVM. There's probably other um, you know, solutions to this out there. But this one I've used for a long time and it's really easy to use. Uh, you can see here it uses ZSH and you know I use ZSH. So basically when I go into a project, if I just go out of here and I just put test next app, you'll see that it's found my MVM RC file. So now it's gonna run 16.10.0 just like everyone else on the project, which makes total sense. So there'll be no discrepancies with a node version. Now, how do we do this? You create an MVM RC file, you put the V and then the version. Now, what happens if you don't have that installed? Well, you can basically just do MVM and then you can specify like the version npm install 16.10.0. It's already installed, but you can do this for other versions as well. So you can also test like MVM. Um, that's the version of MVM actually. That's our node version. And then I wonder if you can do uh, MVM LS maybe. Oops, that's not the one. Um, how do we see what uh, LTS, so you can get the LTS if you want, current, run, LS remote, LTS. Uh, how the hell do you see all the versions? Anyways, you can just look on online to see the versions. Use, alias, use, install, execute, alias. Um, uh, well, the moral of the story here is always use the same version that everyone else is using for the node version. In this case, I'm using 16.10, and you can see um, that it's using that basically by uh, node V, so node version. Now, how did I get that nice option to go into a project and it switches to the node version? Well, that is the genius of ZSH. So you wanna go in here, um, this will be in the description. Um, da, 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 da. This loads MVM. So I'll show you how to do this. Don't really, don't, you know, don't go into the nitty gritty of, oh, how does this work? Basically take this, shove it in your .zshrc file, restart zsh, and when you're going to a project, it will be like, whoa, there's a MVM, are we looking for that? Okay, maybe it doesn't exist. Um, you can just look in here, you'll need this here too, the plugin as well, zsh plugin. A zsh, the MVM plugin. So MVM, there's a few instances in, in here actually. So I've got a few, but what you wanna do, I'll post this all in the, um, the description, but just take from this basically, out of everything else, just try run the same node version as every, every other developer in your team has. Um, but yeah, this just loads MVM and that's basically, when I go into a folder, it just finds that MVM RC file and then runs MVM use. That's pretty much it. But as I mentioned, you don't have to do the ZSH one where if you go into a folder, it uses it. You can basically come in here if it's a new project, you can just do MVM use and it'll just go ahead and use it. But yeah, bottom line, always use the same node version consistently on your machine as other developers are. And also if you have a server that is doing the NPM install, try use the same one there so you know it's gonna work. All right, that's it, that's MVM. You can get it here. There's alternative windows. It might work on windows, I'm not too sure. I haven't used windows in ages. Uh, just get a Mac. All right, bye.